How you doing? I'm Jeff McKay from LearnToFly.ca. I'm here with uh, Dan Rossi from the Canadian Snowbirds, and Dan's going to talk a bit about, I guess, the airplane and what they're going to be doing in the performance here at the Brantford Air Show. Go ahead, Dan. All right. Well, uh, Jeff, what we're going to be doing at the Brantford Air Show is uh, what we do typically at, at, at every air show we go to. Uh, every year we design a new routine, and of that routine we make a high show out of it, which has uh, looping, rolling, and vertical maneuvers. We have a low show, which restricts the vertical maneuvers, that's when the weather's down a little bit. And then we have a flat show, which keeps the formation together, and uh, that's when the weather's really bad, up, down, up right to 1,500 feet. So we can do something, unless if the rain and the weather's down quite a ways. So what you're going to see at the air show this weekend with the, the bright sun, or this afternoon, or this midweek, with the bright sun is uh, you're going to see a series of looping and rolling maneuvers, uh, formation, uh, tight formation maneuvers, and then the solos are going to do their thing, which is always exciting to see. What? Aircraft that. Oh, sorry. I say that the, the, uh, the snowbird is always a hit of any air show. I know the last couple of air shows, even at the Waterloo air show, the, you know the, the crowd certainly love the, the snowbirds the most. Well, you know, I mean, I, I'm sure that the the younger kids like the uh, like the noise of the F-18 and yep. the uh, the older. The older uh, folks like the uh, like to see the, the you know the precision of the snowbirds and the, the majesty of it as, as people tell us all the time. It's it's like a ballet where it's something like an F-18 is uh, is really the rock show. So uh, the aircraft that we fly are the CT-114 Tudor jet. Uh, the aircraft themselves a maximum weight of 9,000 pounds. The engine that we have is the uh, is an Arenda engine and it puts out 2,700 pounds of thrust. So really, you've got one third uh, weight thrust weight ratio, which isn't bad for its vintage for a trainer. That's pretty incredible. So how many G's can you pull this? This aircraft can pull seven, seven point three G, and uh, minus three G for uh, for the negative side. And what's the VNE? And the uh, maximum speed is four hundred twelve knots. And how about the stall speed? Well, the stall speed with full flap is about eighty five knots. So it's got a wide range of uh, uh, of speed there that you can fly in, and uh, that's what made it ideal as a trainer. 